Hey guys, currently on live servers, about to take you on a whirlwind trip to show you all the wild pets that are either seasonal, weather or time dependent. So there's only one pet that I won't be getting a live shot of and that will be one of the seasonal ones. So in the meantime, here are all the other pets that you'll be able to find in game and if you're new to the channel, I'd love if you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can catch all my new videos and if you enjoyed this one, be sure to give it a like. Okay, the first weather condition requires snow in the storm peaks of Northrend. The pet that will spawn is the Arctic Fox Kit, which you can see right here. Really, really cute and only comes in one breed, which is a Power Speed breed. In Silithus, you can either go to the Noxious Lair, which is where I am right now, or the Gaping Chasm. Wait for a sandstorm to appear and you're looking for this little guy, Silithid Hatchling. He is so cute. I love these little bug pets. Level 14, so you shouldn't have too hard a time trying to capture one. It's the baby ape, which you can see right here. It requires it to be raining on Jiguro Isle, which is off the Cape of Stranglethorn. And he's only level 10, so he shouldn't be too bad. He comes in two breeds, which is Balance Balance and Power Power. There are currently two seasonal pets. One is found during winter time, which you can see just on screen now, the Snowy Owl. That can be found in winter spring between December 22nd to March 19th. So if you still don't have one in your collection, you have another three weeks before it disappears for another year. The other pet is a summer pet, which can be found between the 21st of June and September 23rd. The Karaj Gardling, currently as you can see it comes in something like 10 different breeds, so I might actually come back when it's the US summertime. Technically it's summer for us, even though I'm on an oceanic server, but we're following the US season so I might come back and get another one of these breeds because the balance balance one I don't think is the best one out of all these but at the time uh, it was when it first came out and everyone was scrambling to get them um, you'll only see it as a primary pet so don't bother battling the uh, little snakes or anything else you see out here because you won't find it as a secondary so on the Dark Moon Fair there are actually two pets you can encounter. The first one is the Dark Moon Glowfly and the second one is a crow. Now the Dark Moon Glowflies are very easy to come by. Crows on the other hand are not. There's a chance for them to appear as a secondary pet but uh, more often than not you'll be hanging around just to try and battle lots and lots of Dark Moon Glowflies before you even encounter a crow. So I remember last time when they were um, new content, I was here for literally hours trying to get a rare just because I liked rares, but in your case you might just want to come across the first one you see and just give it a stone to um, give it rare quality. So as you can see there are several possible breeds. This is actually a good one, PS, so I would probably go for that one. I'll leave this one for some lucky camper if they're still looking for one. So also if you manage to grind out Exalted Rep with the Order of the Cloud Serpent, which is the little quest hub in this area here, you'll gain access to three new pets which are little cloud serpents of basically the uh, one that you end up training as a racing serpent. So this is one of them. Crimson. Jade. And golden. In Pandaria every Sunday, if you come to Turtle Beach in the Cressorang Wilds, 
you'll find a weekly event happening every Sunday night. Um, well, actually, during Mr. Pandaria, it would happen on Oceanic servers during 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. but I think since the introduction of cross-realm servers it's kind of mucked up all the time zones. So for us at least it occurs on the Monday afternoon at 4 p.m. to I'm guessing 6 p.m. because it used to be a two-hour event. So in another minute or so you should see some little uh, wandering Wanderers Festival hatchlings appear. I've never seen more than a handful, so it used to be they used to be snatched up really quickly by the uh, pet battlers that would be in the area. But you'll know that it's about to start when you see this wandering herald appear, and he seems to come about four hours before the event is due to start. So when you click on him, what he will give you a time frame of when you should actually see it. So as you can see here it says top of the hour. I came a few hours ago and it said that it should be here in um, like three hours or something. Look at that, even better than New Year's, depending on where you celebrate. So as you can see there are three possible breeds, Balance Balance, Health Health and Health Speed. So depending on what you're looking for, um, turtles I generally go for a Health uh, something breed. Um, but yeah, it depends on what you're looking for. Sometimes it's nice to have a combination of different breeds anyway if you have several turtles, just depending on what the battle requires. So there are a number of nocturnal pets that you can get. One is in Deadwind Pass. So as a Horde player, I normally just go to Ogrimmar and then take the portal down in the Cleft of Shadow to the Blastlands and then fly across to Kara. Then once you reach Karazhan, you can just come down into the Master's Cellar. And you should find a number of them down the bottom. And uh, from memory, they used to pop up around midnight and around 9am as well, but you'll probably find it easier since not that many people are after these guys now. So there you go, there's one. So the stone armadillo can be found in Desolus uh, during the nighttime hours. Currently it's 11 something p.m. on my server. And uh, I'm located towards the bottom of the map here. So in Duskwood, you'll find the Widow Spiderling, usually just in the night. Um, and they're generally around the Twilight Grove, so if you fly around the border of that area, you should find some in the late hours of the night. So. Technically it's only 4 p.m. on an oceanic server, but since we seem to follow the US times and it's night time for them, um, that's why I'm seeing them now. Yeah, this is definitely my least favorite of the set since I hate spiders. Simri Jones and spiders do not mix very well. So in the Ley Ruins of Zakanar in Azuna, you'll find this little guy here, the Eurodite Manifiend, who only appears during daylight. So currently on the server it's just after lunchtime, it's 1 something p.m. Followed by another version which only appears at night. And then finally we have the Edrich Manor Fiend, which as you can see is also in the Ley Ruins of Zakanar. only these only appear at night. So there you have it, they are the 12 wild pets you can find in World of Warcraft that are either time, season, or weather dependent. So if you enjoyed the video please give it a like, feel free to leave a comment and let me know if you've collected any or all of these. See you for the next video. Thanks guys!